I'll have alcohol because, you know, <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. Already? And for you, ma'am, can I get you something to drink? Oh, oh I'll have a tea because I'm terrific. And I'll have Fanta because I'm fantastic. Excuse me, when can I smoke? I'm sorry, sir. There's no smoking on board. No, when the no smoking sign turns off, I can smoke. No, there's no smoking on board. Well, I've smoked before. You mean like 20 years ago? Fine. Then why don't you open the doors and let me smoke outside? Okay. Bing! Hello, can I help you? Hello, can I have a hooker? A, a what? Can I have a hooker too, please? Pardon me? Hooker! Hooker! Yes, a hooker for my coat. Oh, a hanger! Welcome aboard! Hi. Um... What? Oh! Are you okay? Your titties are pulsating! Okay, fine. Yeah, I need to see your papers. Why are there always dirty dishes? And why am I the only one always doing the dishes? Hey! You haven't been doing the dishes for like eight months straight? And I will continue to do it for the rest of my life. Excuse me, sir. You need to put your laptop away. We're landing soon. That rule is stupid. Sir, it's for your safety. Don't worry. I'll be fine, okay? Sir, if you don't care about your safety, that's totally up to you. What I do care about is in case of a rough landing, your laptop will smash the face of the person next to you. There is a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? That could have been you. What? You could have been doctor, but no, you chose to be YouTuber. Oh my, there's literally someone dying right now. Good, then you go take a video, pour some views. Oh my, have you seen my tablet? You know my tablet, where I watch my movies. Tablet, tablet. Tablet. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Which seat was it? Sir, you're trash. What did you say? You're trash. You can't talk to me like that. In your hand. Oh. Tales from the skies. Let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So, so we're flying over the United States. Oh. What does it mean, Mama? 나쁜 사람들한테만 하는 거야. 하지 마. This is my second time asking for a refill. I just need to serve the rest of the passengers on the first drinks, and then right after I'm done, I'll bring you your refill. I don't care. Just get me my drink within the next five minutes, or I'm filing a formal complaint. Hey, lady. Ni hao. 안녕하세요. I'm Korean. That's how you say hello. Ni hao is Mandarin. I'm Korean, so it's 안녕하세요. Whatever, lady. Ni hao. Oh, you were making fun of me! <laughs> that was a good one. That was funny. How am I still married? I, why, I just assumed he was staying with Tobias. Do you know where this new place is? Do you have an address? I'm sorry, I don't. He definitely wasn't staying with Tobias, so that I know for sure. Thank you. That is disgusting. Hi, what can I get for you today? Yes, I would like to have your most expensive champagne and only one glass. All right, and for your father? This is not, this is not my father.
I'm so sorry, I assumed he's your father because I heard you call him dad. Oh. <clears throat> In that case, uh, what will the gentleman have? For him, just the bill. Right. Pilots are so hot. I'm gonna try to date one. You don't need to. You're new. They're coming for you. What do you mean? They like the newbies. It's true, you have a smell. Fresh. That can't be true. That may be. Let's see. Who here has been with a pilot for six months of flying? Be honest. Can I have a quickie? I beg your pardon? Oh you can't say that! I wait! Quickie on and I love a quickie. Oh my stop! No way then! Oh my quickie got a yogi tana! Quickie! Ma, it's pronounced quiche! Ooh! Ah! Oh! Oh ma, I'm ordering some McDonald's. You want anything? Oh, this one? McDonald's. You know McDonald's. We literally had it yesterday. You had a Big Mac and I had chicken nuggets. McDonald's. Whoa, Oma, where are you going? You're looking sexy today. I said you look sexy. No, it's good. Sexy. Sexy. Hmm? Sexy. What is that? New speakers. Why would you buy that? Last time you said you couldn't hear the TV. We were watching A Quiet Place. But it's for the surround sound. What are you surrounding our living room's 50 square feet? And those speakers are even bigger than our TV. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, okay, I understand. I'll take care of it. Thank you. But God! <laughs> what the hell is that? Got a bigger TV to match the speakers. But God! Can I please get a diaper for my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have diapers on board. You have no diapers? What am I going to do? Um, well, I see another family over there with a baby. I can ask them for you. Maybe they can spare one. You know what? Forget it. I'll figure it out, okay? Can I just get the baby formula now so I can feed my baby? He's getting really hungry. Oh, we, we don't carry baby formula. What? It says meals are included in this flight. Yes, uh, regular meals. What am I supposed to do now? I think we're over at Walmart right now. I can drop you off. I need you all to be extra cautious and suspicious with everyone coming in with a child. There has been an increase in child abduction cases, so I need you all to take note. Understood? Different last names. Hmm. I'm going to question the kid because they're usually honest. I'm going to ask your child a question. Where are you going? United States? Hmm, she doesn't really know. United States where? United States of Disneyland? United States of <coughs> Disneyland? Welcome to the United States of Disneyland. Make sure you get the Fast Pass. Thank you. Excuse me, sir, you can't eat that on the plane. It has a, a strong smell. But it's so delicious. I'm sorry, sir. It's, it's really upsetting the other passengers. I'm just gonna have to get rid of this, okay? Throw it away! I have to go. Excuse me, miss? Excuse me. Miss! What? Your son keeps kicking the chair in front of him. And? And it's irritating for the passenger sitting there. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Could you tell your son to stop, please? Stop kicking the chair. Miss, he's still doing it? 
Look, if you want him to stop, you tell him. You want me to educate your child? Whatever, I don't care. I'm just trying to watch a movie. Hi, sweetheart. Do you and your mom want to go skydiving? Excuse me, young lady. Can you please put your phone to airplane mode or landing soon? Why? It's for your safety. How? Because your phone can interfere with airplane communications. You're telling me my phone is going to mess with this multi-million dollar airplane? Maybe. You want to risk it? Did you even need to go to college for this job? No, we get training from the airline. That explains a lot. Wait, how much do you make? That's a little personal. I heard you guys only make 40k a year. Is that true? That's just starting. We get benefits. Can you even pay rent with that? No. Let me get this straight. You didn't go to college, you're broke, and you wear unflattering clothes for work? <laughs> What are you gonna do? <laughs> you sure? You sure you wanna use me? It's gonna hurt. Probably gotta clog the toilet. No. You're actually thinking of using me? <laughs> Use your bare hands. I dare you. There's toilet paper underneath the sink. Oh, thank goodness. What is this? I'm one ply. <laughs> no. And that's why I bring my own Charmin. It's worth it for the price because it's super soft. And they have mega rolls that last longer. And it won't clog your toilet. Baby, all I did was ask you to move so I can use the toilet. Here, take a Charmin and enjoy the go. Thanks. Oh ma, this is so embarrassing. I'm not going to do it. Ah, where? It's not even going to work. What do you want to do? Ah, fine. One adult to one child, please. And I'm seven? What year were you born? Um, 2008? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Oh my god. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flattered that you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like, it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Uh, French fry Giselle. What are you doing on there? What's on your menu board? French fries? 손님, 죄송한데 우리 그런 거 여기 없어요. You have to have French fries. It's McDonald's. It's universal. Yeah. 뭐가 이렇게 오래 걸려? This McDonald's doesn't have any French fries. French fry. Is this your first time in Palm Springs? Yes, my first time. Wow, I love your accent. Oh, thank you very much. What's your background? Garbage you can. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yes. I mean, if you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find. Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? No. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? N no. Immersion blender? I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery-operated device? Battery. Oh, yeah, if you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, what? Please go see that officer over there. Am I going to jail? Booking. We're looking for one volunteer to take the next flight out tomorrow, and in exchange, we'll be giving you a $200 travel credit. $300. $400. $500. Hello, I'll take the next flight $4,000 cash. $750. 
Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. You see, they all got places to go, people to see. I'm alone and depressed, so I might as well make some bank out of my situation. Know what I'm saying? Fine. Thousand dollars, travel credit, no cash. Seriously? Oh. <clears throat> and I would like a hotel because the flight is tomorrow and I need a place to stay. That's reasonable. And I would like to be upgraded to first class on my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I would like a uh, massage voucher for the stress that this flight change has caused. Don't me. push it. I'll take it. Yeah, your manifest is what? Manifestation? Oh, that's when you think and feel something and it comes true. Kure? Shinkyane? Hebayaji? Amma, it's not praying, it's a technique. You need to vision yourself there, really there, and then you send it off into the universe. Oh, oh, arasa. I, uh, manifest. latte and my mom will have an ice caramel macchiato. Hmm? Oh, no! What do you mean? That's what you always drink. Yes, that's the drink I got you yesterday. Maybe I can help. What was in the drink? Espresso, milk, caramel, and it's iced. Trust me, it's an ice caramel macchiato. Oh, I know what that is. Was it ice caramel macchiato? Ooh! Welcome aboard, sir. I see that you're sitting in low class, which is in this direction. Low class? What's that? Seat so low, you're sitting on the ground. Can I get like a snack or something? Of course, sir. Here is our menu. There's nothing on this. It's just paper. I know. We serve nothing. But that'll be $5 for the menu. Buying cheap is so not worth it. Should have booked on Way Away. This one? Yes. Users who sign up for a Way Away Plus membership get cash back on bookings of flights, hotels, rental cars, and more. Cash, cash, rate right to your PayPal. Now you can fly on normal flights for cheaper. Thanks for that advice. Also, where's the toilet? Here you go, sir. You can go in that corner. As cabin crew, we get to travel all over the world. And one of my most favorite places to visit is Great Britain. Each country and county that you visit is so unique. So different, in fact, that everywhere you go, there'll be a different accent. Some I admit I have a lot of trouble understanding. For example... You should come over. Your mates would be well gelled. Okay. Oh, hello, love. Tell him Come over for a cuppa. Okay. I'm gonna do the tune. It'll be a carry laugh like. Yes. You're all right, lad. Get your kicks on and get over here. It's boss. Boss. Okay. Now, with all my experience, I should be a pro. Let's test it out on the fake Brit challenge. All right, pal. Want to come room my house for some scrown in a wee bevy? I knew it! Now the real question is, will you be as good as me? Try out the fake bread challenge and let me know in the comments how you did. Good luck! What would you like to eat, chicken or beef? Alrighty then, I will be right back. Hey, you're the one fluent in Korean, right? Yeah. Oh, great. We have a Korean passenger and 28C doesn't speak a word of English, okay? Can you please go there and ask her what she wants to eat? total is two dollars and 98 cents would you like to donate your two cents change to help starving blind children in africa who are running for their lives and all they want is a place to sleep at night no thank you okay would you like a bag for 20 cents yes i would <laughs>
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. For those sitting in no class, I'll now demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. If the seatbelt sign goes on, please fasten your seatbelts located in the basket next to you. How am I supposed to strap myself in with shoelaces? It's super easy. You make two bunny holes go down and under and through the hole. And in case of emergency landing on water, your life vest should be right next to you. This is a balloon? No, this is your life vest. And if you untie it, it's also your oxygen mask. Should have never booked a cheap flight. You should have booked it on way away. Members get cash back on flights, hotels, rental cars, and more. So you can save money and not fly like this. Thanks for the advice. By the way, where are the emergency exits? I don't see one. We just have two emergency exits at the front. But this is the back. That's right. Good luck with that. Hi, can I get a free upgrade? No, but let me tell you how much it would be to upgrade. So I see that you're staying for two weeks, so the total to upgrade to a suite would be $1,500. One second, please. Okay, I like that upgrade now, please. Great, should I just charge a $1,500 to your card? Actually, if you look again, I'm now an ambassador of Intercontinental. I signed up for $200 instead of paying $1,500, which pretty much guarantees an upgrade anywhere in the world for the next year whenever I stay with you guys. So, thank you for being an ambassador of our hotel. Enjoy your suite. And how do I know this works? Because I just did it here in Korea. <laughs> There's something really loud in this plane and it's giving me a headache. Could you please figure out what it is? I don't know, it could be the engines or something and just do something about it. I, I could give you earplugs if you'd like. No, 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 I have my own earplugs. I can still hear it. The sound is actually the engines. So. Okay, so then can you tell the captain to turn it off? Hey, Captain! So, there's a passenger complaining that the engines are too loud. Can you please turn him off? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. I think you're in my seat. Do you mind switching seats with my wife? We're on our honeymoon and we want to sit together. So, so that's more okay, where's your wife's seat? That's my seat. Thank you. That's an economy. No, I pay for business. Wow. We're on a honeymoon? Can't you show some kindness? Can I please have my seat? What seems to be the problem here? This guy said he was going to switch seats and now he's taking it back. I never said I was going to switch. He said he would switch with me. I actually took a look into your ticket and found out that you got a free upgrade. And now you're trying to steal this passenger's seat. So I'm going to give you two options. One, both of you go to economy. Or two, get off this flight. Rather on your own or through security. No, we're not moving. Security! Can't do this, I'm going to sue! Have a nice day! <sighs> Hello, ma'am. Would you like chicken or beef? I'll have the chicken, please. Certainly! Oh my god, so on my last flight, some of the passengers suddenly just got like really sick. They vomited everywhere and I'm pretty sure it was the chicken! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I'm 98% sure that this chicken is fine. I'll take the beef. Excellent choice.
Did you see that viral clip on the news where that guy got duct taped to his chair on his flight? This happened on Frontier Airlines. Yes, I saw. That was such an unfortunate event. I know, right? Poor passenger. I know! Poor- What? Yeah, they treated him like an animal. Taping him to his chair, taping his mouth so he can't talk. My God. Brutal. You do realize that he sexually assaulted and punched the flight attendants and was a threat to other passengers, right? Oh, seriously, this world is so sensitive nowadays. Like he was just drunk. These things can happen. So what you're saying right now is that if you're drunk, you get a free pass for this sort of violent behavior? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Sweetie, I hope you find your parents. What's your name? Jeannie. What a beautiful name, Jeannie. Do you remember where you were sitting? Yeah, it was dark and cold and I was all alone. Okay. I I'm just going to ask my friend for help. Just wait one second, okay, sweetie? Hey, psst, psst. Do you know where this kid was sitting? What kid? Uh, I swear, she was just here. Okay, well, let's just check. Uh, no, we have no kids on this flight. No, th there was a kid here with pigtails and a pink panther doll. Oh, no, wait, there is a kid on this flight. Oh, no. In cargo, though. Cargo? You mean... Oh, no, that's so sad. And her name was Jeannie. Such a cute name. Jeannie. Right, right. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to direct your attention to the cabin crew in front of you. We will be demonstrating how you can use Well Simple to buy, sell, or trade your first stock easily. Now we request your complete attention as the cabin crew performs the demonstration. First thing you want to do is open up the app and set up your account. When that is done, there are several ways that you can invest. Please take a few moments to locate the stock you wish to purchase. Now why stop there? There are cryptocurrencies to your left and ETFs to your right. We strongly suggest that you do your research and diversify your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one check bag. Once you find a stock you want to invest in, no worries if you don't want to buy the whole thing. You will be able to change your options to fractional buy and trade a piece of stock for as little as one dollar. One dollar here, one dollar there, at your own pace until you're ready to take off. We hope you enjoy your flight. Next! Hello. Okay, so I understand that you had in your possession a... <coughs> a remote control car, but instead of a car, an eggplant. Is that correct? Yes. Were you aware that these items were illegal in the UAE? No. Passport. You do realize that I can find you for this. I swear, I didn't know. I swear. I swear, I didn't know. I heard that. I swear, I swear it was for me. I swear, I didn't know. I will never do it again, boy. Just next time, be more aware of what you're bringing into the country. Enjoy your stay. for the entire flight. Oh, I'm vaccinated, so I don't need my mask. Uh, let me get my vaccination card. That's wonderful, uh, but unfortunately, our airline still- You're not hearing me. I'm vaccinated. I just can't find my card right now, but you, I can prove it. I can prove it. It's, it's our policy, ma'am. You need to wear a- Huh, found it. I'll prove it. Wait. Uh, just give me, give me one second here. Oh. What are you doing? You know, when 
know, when you're vaccinated, you're, you're magnetized. Just give me a second. It works. I don't know what you're doing, but can you please stop and just wear your mask? If it doesn't work, I'll wear the mask, okay? Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Crap. Genie. So, is this your very last flight? Yep. And you got scheduled for an airport standby? Yeah. That sucks. Eh, it is what it is. So technically, I have the power right now to send you anywhere in the world for your very last shift. Your glasses are so nice. Thanks. Well, I've decided to send you to Johannesburg, South Africa. Okay. You do know that the World Cup is being held there, right? Cool. And Emirates Airlines is the official sponsor for the World Cup. Okay. And Emirates gets box seats for every game. Okay, congrats to Emirates. I don't know. Oh my God. You're Emirates! The crew that flies to South Africa gets box seats to the World Cup game. What did he say? Enjoy your last flight. Only when I lie in bed on my own. And I wake up and I see your name on my phone. Where are you folks from? Canada. Canada? You don't look Canadian. Where are you guys really from? I was born in Toronto. Really? Your favorite sport is hockey, right? <laughs> I like ballet. And I love a golf pool. Me and my friends, we play in a golf pool club. You come to Canada, we teach you. Oh, thank you. You want a snack? You guys eating a poutine? No, kimbap. You want to try? Oh, no, thank you. You don't know anything about what it really means to be Canadian. What? You need to watch more CBC and watch shows like Kim's Convenience and Run the Burbs. Sorry, but I just overheard that you're from Canada. Me too! You guys do say sorry a lot though. Sorry? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to say sorry, but uh, what? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I swear I didn't mean to say sorry to my sorry. What? <laughs> That's weird. Sorry. And where are you guys off to today? California, LA. What are you doing in LA? Disneyland. That your first time here. Um. Uh, yes. Sir. Well, what's your favorite Disney character? Ariel. We don't take it. Tell him. Ariel. I see. Okay. Well, what do you do for work? She's a uh, unemployed. No, I'm not. I'm a YouTuber. Same thing. <laughs> When's your birthday? Same thing. September 12, 2023? Ma'am, that's today's date. How old are you? Uh, deny. I don't remember. You don't remember? What? What year were you born? 1983. 1983? So she's 40. Yes, sir. What do you mean you're kicking me off my flight? I'm sorry, ma'am. The flight is overbooked, so I booked you in for the next available flight. No, no. I fully paid for my flight, okay? I have a confirmed ticket, confirmed reservation, and the plane left without me. How is that even fair? What am I gonna do about my plans? I have to change all of my plans just because you Since guys- Since there's a huge time flight, gap for your next care? flight, we'll be compensating you $1,550. Always me, always me, excuse me, what? $1,550 for the inconvenience. What? What, what, what? Why would you do that? Well, it's- Actually, the law, your next available domestic flight is over two hours arrival delay. So we need to compensate you 400% of your one-way ticket fare. And I calculated yours is $1,550, which is our maximum payout. Oh, well, I already knew that because I follow Jeannie Weenie. Honestly, if I was you, I'd be totally upset too. Like being bumped totally sucks. So... Let me see if there's something else I can do. <gasps> Why don't I upgrade you to first class because it's available on the next flight? Okay, well, thank you for bumping me. Happy Chinese New Year. I have a red envelope for each one of you. Well, why are you being so nice and generous all of a sudden? Well, giving you guys red envelopes actually brings me good fortune as well, so I'm actually just doing this for me. Only you can turn generosity into selfishness, but whatever. Yoink! Aw, thanks, Lindsay!
a penny. The amount of money in there reflects how important you are in my life, so. <laughs> But it's an old bill, not a crisp new one, so it's only gonna bring you old luck. <laughs> Fine by me. Four hundred forty-four dollars, which in Chinese means ultimate death. <laughs> Who cares what it means? I'll take the cash. Thank you so much. Watch out for that suitcase. Genie. <laughs> starting right now wait what am i saying woman i'm trying to rob you right now you come to love me what what say your head what the heck is going on here huh yeah the isaac is singing chingu ga came to rob me there omma he's trying to rob you he's a robber tonom nom huh oh Uh, where's my seatbelt? I can give you one for ten dollars. Excuse me? You only paid for us to fly you from point A to point B, and everything else is an add-on. Isn't that insane? Your safety is our number two priority. What's number one? To make a profit, of course. Speaking of which, I noticed that you put a bag in the overhead bin, which will come to fifty dollars. You also stored some items in the pocket in front of you, which will be an additional fifty. And I see that you're using one armrest and additional charge. And earlier, I saw you take a photo of our plane. So I'll issue you a licensing rights for that, and the total comes to four hundred seventy-eight dollars so far. This is ridiculous. You should have booked on way away. You get cash back on regular flights. Totally doing that next time. <clears throat> Anyways, where's the toilet? That's just in the back, and it'll be twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Forget it. I'll just go in my pants. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's a twelve hundred dollar cleaning fee. You lost my luggage. Oh, hello. I didn't lose anything, but I will do my best to assist you. May I please get your passport and your luggage tag? You, the company, same same. Thank you. Okay. Yep, your luggage is missing. That's what I said. Did you pick up your luggage when you transferred flights? No. You're supposed to send it to my final destination, which is here, but it's not here. Actually, because you flew internationally, you had to pick up your bags, clear customs, recheck your bags for this domestic flight. How was I supposed to know that? We do tell you when you check in, and also prior to the plane landing. Well, if someone told me, I would have picked it up. But clearly, no one told me. Let me just call the other airport and locate your bag. Right. Hello. Hi. I was wondering if you can help me locate a lost luggage. Great. Uh, it's luggage tag A three five four five six. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Makes sense. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. They found it. No, they couldn't find it anywhere. Your bag just disappeared. Poof. Did you buy insurance? Oh. Well, can they look harder? It has to be there. Luggage doesn't just get up and walk away on its own. The 청소하는 거뭐 하고 있어 지금? Getting new too? 마 미트? 우리 미트 프리지에 있잖아. No, Oma, it's Pokemon Unite second anniversary, and I can get the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo for free right now. And my friends can even find me with my trainer name, so we can play together. And no one should miss this event. I've been in Mewtwo's Crystal Cave Challenge, just trying to unlock the Unite license. Mewtwo's a beast; it can mega evolve. And there's also a new game mode called Panic Parade, where we all work together as a team to complete a task. Deco, 청소하고 놀아. Ugh, fine. Woo! Me too! You got me too? Huh? What? Ani, me too. Pokemon Unite, 좋다고.
but we should really do a PA to find the owner. Or we can keep it and split it. Lindsay! Just kidding. May I have your attention, please? If you have misplaced a watch and uh, <clears throat> uh, other items in the lavatory, please make yourself known to the crew right away. Thank you. Hey, I uh, think you found my watch. Wonderful. Can you please verify the brand of watch? Um, a Rolex. Okay. If we find your Rolex, we'll let you know. Excuse me, I, I left my watch and some money in the toilet. Can you please verify how much money and the brand of watch? I left it on the sink. It was a uh, Casio watch and $20,000 cash. Here you go. You should take better care of this. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for flying with us. Have a nice day. Bye bye. I just wanted to thank you again for returning those items. It was our family's life savings and we're just moving to another country to have a better life for myself and my children. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Yo, we have an A-list celebrity sitting in the last row of economy and the passengers are going crazy! No way! They didn't tell us in briefing though. Who is it? Good morning, ma'am. It's such an honor to have you on board today. Are you traveling by yourself? Uh, yes, I am. Just checking to see if you're okay. Um, if you would like more privacy, I can check if there's space in business class for you. Thank you so much for your kind offer, but I really want to sit here if I'm not causing too much trouble. I'm actually traveling on a mission trip and they sent me this ticket and I really, really want to honor their gift. And sitting in business class and receiving special treatment just doesn't sit right with me on this trip. I hope you understand. I understand and respect your decision. I'm a huge fan. Yo, those celebrities are taking half of the economy. Oh, it's because they're on their missionary trip, so they need the celebrities and their crew. Oh, that makes sense. Hello, sir. Can I help you with anything? Oh, hey. You know who I am, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So as you know, I'm going on a mission trip, so I need to be well rested. And economy is so uncomfortable, and people are just bothering me with autographs. So I'm just going to chill here, if that's okay with you. Certainly, sir. I'm just gonna go check to see how much it'll be to upgrade you to business, okay? Uh, B! Sweetie, that, that's not a B. That's rain. Anyang! This, this, it's not an onion. It's glasses. I think your daughter needs help learning some English. Lucky for you, I have the best solution. Rosetta Stone! There are 25 different languages that you can choose from and different courses so you can learn a language in no time. So now I'm actually fluent in three languages and you know what? I can even share with you a special link that gives you a discount so your daughter can learn English. My daughter already using Rosetta Stone. She was speaking Korean and uh, she very good at English. Maybe you keep using Rosetta Stone, learn more language. How do I say I'm sorry? 죄송합니다. 고맙습니다. 안아 아시세. 로 시엔토. 무지 마 그지에. Ignore me. You can choose. Have you ever wanted to change seats on a plane so you can sit next to your friend or partner? Usually we're assigned seats before boarding, so seat changes are done on the plane. So here are seat change success rates. Couples edition. So let's say you're a couple that's sitting separately and you want to change seats with a solo traveler on a flight that's over four hours. If you're doing a same seat to seat exchange in the same area, the success rate is about 99.9%. I've never had anyone say no. If it's the same seat, but you ask them to move zones so they were at the front and now you're asking them to move to the back, about 80%. Now, if you add close to a toilet or close to a crying baby, that goes down to like 40%. Now, if you're doing a different seat exchange, like you ask them to give up their window or aisle for a middle seat, 15%, <laughs> maybe 10, like no one wants the middle. <laughs> but if you give up your window or aisle for their middle seat, your rate goes back up to 99%. And to those that try to change seats with different classes, <laughs> Please don't even try to ask someone who's sitting in economy plus or business to take your economy seat. 
Passengers pay a lot of money to upgrade. So unless you plan on paying them back, your success rate will be negative 682%. Okay. Good evening, ma'am. Can I offer you something to snack on? I've noticed both you and your husband had nothing to eat. Oh, no, thank you. And I don't want to wake up my husband. He's just had a really long week. Uh, I'm not hungry, but I am cold, though. Can I please get another blanket? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Are you sure maybe you want something warm to drink? I'm actually okay, but could you grab a green tea with milk and sugar for my husband when he wakes up though? Certainly, of course. Hey, just so you know, the passengers in 12 A and B had nothing to eat or drink this entire time. Oh, that gentleman? Yeah, the purchase said not to wake him. Oh, really? Okay, well, the wife though is awake and she hasn't had anything to eat either. Oh, someone was sitting next to him? I didn't notice. Yeah, the lady next to him is his wife. You're finally awake! Your wife actually asked me to bring you that green tea. What do you mean, my wife? Your wife? Uh, I guess she went to the lavatories. Did you put milk and sugar in my green tea? Yes, I'm sorry, is that incorrect? Uh, your wife is the one that told me to do that for you. My wife passed away last week. I'm taking her home on this flight. <sighs> I'm sorry, uh, there, there was a lady that was sitting next to you. She said she was your wife and not to wake you up because you had a long week and to bring you a green tea when you do wake up and she was cold, she was chilly. So I gave her a blanket. She's in cargo, but I believe you. This is how I drink my green tea. And I, I think she's just worried about me. That's so sweet. Happy Chinese New Year's, everyone! So for this year, I decided to only give red pockets to those that are not married. Why not married? I'm transferring my luck so you can find forever love this year. I think it's the married ones that need the luck. Anyways, like, who cares? You should, because there's money in those red pockets. What? Well, I'm single, so give me that. I'm single. Didn't you just get married to Veronica last month? Yeah, but... We're currently flying to a country that doesn't recognize same-sex marriages, so technically, I'm still single. So I'll take that. <laughs> so I know I've been married for 40 years, but recently I found out that my husband was cheating on me. And quite frankly, I don't want to be a divorcee, you know, and die alone. So we're testing out this like open relationship thing for now. So technically, I'm single, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> to give you guys real money on this flight attendant salary besides it's not what it's inside that counts it's the outside red envelope that's going to bring you guys luck this year guys can you ask someone to recommend you a good vitamin d brand hello uh, i'm looking for good d we're all in search of that, ma'am. Oh my god. Oh ma! You have to say the word vitamin! Vitamin D! 내가 그렇게 물어보면 몰라서 그래! D가 쉽잖아, D! Oh my, just trust me. You don't want to ask it like that, okay? Just say vitamin D and they're going to understand. 알았어! <laughs> I'm looking for good uh, vitamin D. I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, 내가 뭐라 그랬어, 모르잖아! How can they not know? It pretty much sounds the same. Maybe you can try to explain what you need. Okay, go ahead. I want to a uh, good D. Uh, good D make me happy, ha, happy, and uh, no more stress problem. Amen, sister. And uh, I want to no chewy soap to D. No, no. I want to hard D. Okay. Yeah, wait, 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 what's it? Oh my, D means a gotcha! Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me? The server? 
can't even speak English and I need someone that can understand me. So can you just send me someone else? Sir Oliver Crew speak English and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. <phone rings> Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right, all right, okay. <phone rings> Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours, and if you don't... Oh, 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 okay, okay. <phone rings> Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit... Uh, oh, okay, you know what? I give up, I give up. <phone rings> Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leap yet. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen him. Sir? Whoop. Do you have any bags to check in? No. Do you have any carry-ons? No. And do you have any personal items? No. Nope. I have nothing. Okay, wonderful. So that'll just be an extra charge of $20. What? What for? Oh, that's a service charge for my time to ask you those questions. That's ridiculous, no. Oh, and about your seat. Give me whichever seat is free. No, what I was gonna say is you don't have a seat yet. So would you like one? What do you mean? The fare that you paid for was just a reservation. It's not guaranteed. So if you for sure wanna be on this flight, that would be an extra $300. Of course I have to be on this flight or why would I buy a ticket? Great, so I'm adding the guaranteed ticket. I, I can't believe this. Oh, and you also stated on your online checking that you are 120 pounds, is that correct? It wouldn't even let me check in without putting in that information. Like, why would you guys even need to know that information? Thank you for confirming. So, an extra $188 has been added. Oh, you cannot charge a person based on their weight. That's discrimination. Oh my god, of course we're not going to charge you for your weight. That's a Goal. We're charging you for the extra items like your clothes. You're currently standing on a scale, my dear. What? What the? Okay, and finally, I'll need you to blow into this bag five times. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's fine. I'll just cancel your reservation. <laughs> Give me that. <gasps> Thank you so much. So after calculating the amount of air that you're going to consume over your flight, the total will come to $760. Not bad. Let me talk to your manager. Certainly. Oh, and that'll be a $50 connection fee. Excuse me. This armrest is for me? I mean the armrest is for you. Everybody knows that seat gets the aisle, your seat gets the window, and my seat gets the armrests. Oh, is that right? Well, show me the rule book that says that. It's the rule book of courtesy and common sense. Oh! Oops. Excuse me, I just want to say you're gorgeous. Thank you. She's all right. And who might you be? Her boyfriend? Uh, now and every day that she's the most beautiful person on this planet before I throw you off the plane! You are the most beautiful person on this planet. Lindsay! What? Your lipstick needs to be red. Ew, no, I look gross in red. You know it's company standard, change it or you're off this flight. Ugh, fine. Someone give me a red lipstick. Someone give me a red lipstick. Passenger 40C was like rude to me for no reason. Hey, I know, this job is hard sometimes. <laughs> is this funny to you, Lindsay?
hey, I just want to say sorry for being rude to you earlier. What did you say to him? I just told him if he doesn't apologize to you for being an ass, and I'm going to share this photo of him that I found with his pants down on every single screen on this plane. But that's not true. He doesn't know that. Hello, may I please confirm the age of your child? Hi, my daughter just turned two. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, all children over the age of two are required to wear a mask for the entire flight. Oh, I know. Um, I, I tried, but she just keeps crying and taking it off. Due to the severity of the current pandemic, there are no exceptions. She needs to wear a mask. Well, what do you want me to do? I can't reason with her. She's a baby. And if I just keep it on her face and hold it, she'll suffocate and she'll just scream bloody murder. So what do you want me to do? You will both be removed from the flight if she doesn't wear a mask. You're going to kick us off the flight? She's a baby. What happens if we don't want to go? If you don't, I need to call security. You're going to call security on me and my baby? No. No. I'm not moving. <laughs> security. I would love to be a flight attendant one day. Ew, why? They're like servants in the sky. All they do is give you like peanuts and stuff. Really? <coughs> oh my god, you're choking! Help! Help! You called for me, miss? My friend, my friend is choking! Please do something! Oh, I see. Um, peanuts? Hi, can I get a sandwich, please? That'll be $10, please. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, can I help you with anything? Oh no, I'm just waiting for the toilet. Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Oh, that's so sweet. I'm actually crew. Don't worry about it. Wait, you're crew? Did you pay for lunch? Yeah, I had the sandwich. It was pretty good. No, mm -mm. no, you do not pay on my flight. Okay, here, here's $10. Thank you so much. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you doing? I'm looking for the toilet. That is a door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Thank you. Uh, that's a wall, and the toilet is a door next to it. Oh! No, no, you, you push. Push the door. No, push. It won't open! I got it for you. Go ahead. Help, I'm stuck! Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm making ice towels. Oh! <gasps> no, 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 no. The standard is hot towels. You cannot give ice towels. It's like a thousand degrees outside. If I give them a hot towel, they're gonna throw it at me. I am the senior on this flight. Follow my orders. Okay. Would you like a towel? Thank you. Oh, this towel's hot. It's like a thousand degrees in here. What the hell's the matter with you? Idiot. Ah! The passengers are angry. I just had a great idea. Let's use ice towels. Everybody, ice towels. Bitch. Did you finish with your beverage service? Yes, I did exactly what you said. I served coffee and tea along with a cream, a fresh milk, sugar, and... Hold up. We don't have fresh milk. No, we do. I found some in the fridge. From the... Fr Oh my god, that's breast milk! Cows have breasts? Excuse me, may I please get the milk I stored here earlier? <laughs> Hello, welcome! Hey, psst. Why does everyone keep bowing to me? It kind of feels a little weird. Oh, it's a sign of respect. Koreans like to bow for a lot of things. For example, Hello. Goodbye. Thank you. I'm sorry. Another shot, please. Bing! Finally. Oh. Mm. Excuse me, please don't recline your seat. Why would the plane have the option to recline if I'm not allowed to recline? There's not enough space back here. It's really uncomfortable. And it'll make me more comfortable if I did. Lady, what is your problem? Just scratching my legs because I have no space. Could you teach me how to apologize to a Korean passenger again? Of course. How sorry are you? What do you mean? Like there's different levels of sorry. For example. I'm sorry, but not really. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry, boss. I'm sorry I hit you with my car and when you got amnesia that I pretended I was you and stole your money and lover. Ma'am, do you mind just sitting one row behind? You're on a wheelchair accessible seat and we would really appreciate it. Yeah, no thanks. As you can see, there is a wheelchair passenger who would really appreciate that seat. We should have reserved the seat then. If you move me over to business class, I'll move. 
What a wonderful idea. Fantastic. Sir, I'm just going to bring you up to business.